This is the latest addition to the Shark RF line of hotspots called the M1KE, or what they call the mic. M1KE is what it says, but when you power it up, it says mic connected, so it calls itself a mic. Recently, I got an email from Shark RF. They have added the access for IAX2, or All Star Link, to this system. So not only does this now do DMR, D-Star, System Fusion, P25, NXDN, YSF, all of the things, and transcode between all of the things. This is Shark RF is the only hotspot currently on two or three different models that will transcode D-Star. But now we're going to get to add All Star to it. So I'm going to set this thing up. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I haven't done this yet. I'm too excited about it. I got the email about 30 minutes ago. I was like, I got to make a video about this. So let's go. This is the website here. Now, at the time of this recording, they're actually running an Easter sale on this, on the mic and on the OpenSpot 4 Pro. So 20 euros off of the OpenSpot 4, and it looks like still 20 euros off of the mic. One to three day shipping worldwide. The email that I got from them this morning is right here, and it says it goes until April 21st. I'll share this on a shopping video. Hopefully, you guys will see it, maybe in my email list. Go sign up on my email list, hamradio2.com forward slash email dash sign up. So, All-Star Link support. The All-Star Link and IAX2 support for the mic is now available in stable firmware V2.6. I'm on uh, firmware V2 on this right now, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. You can find detailed instructions in the user manual. So we're going to open that up here shortly. You can easily connect to a lot of analog repeaters all around the world using All-Star Link. The new firmware update includes several new features as well. See a list of changes here. We're going to open that up. And then importantly right now for stuff going on in the USA, U.S. customers can continue to purchase from our online store free of customs and duties. Shark RF is located in Estonia, and at the time of this recording, there are no tariffs for anywhere but China. They put a pause on all tariffs except for anywhere but China. Who knows if that's going to last? I don't. This video is not about tariffs, so we're not going to talk about that. But let's check this out and add All-Star Link to it. Let's update the firmware and add All-Star Link to it. This is the unit here. I'm going to power it up by holding down that button. So we're connected to a TGIF server right now, talk group 29185, which is the stump knocker talk group. And when we go here, and I'm going to press this button on the bottom, I'm going to go down to settings. No, I'm going to go down to about right there and I'm gonna go down you're gonna see firmware version is v12 I was thinking it was v20 I was wrong v12 and the firmware built at it was built on January 6th of this year there's a bootloader uptime you can see all kinds of stuff in there it's a cool menu if you go back one and go to settings and Wi-Fi and click on network status right here you can see what your IP address is 160, uh, 192.168.1.58, and that is where we are right here on this. So the easiest way, there might be a way to upgrade from the screen. You could do most everything from the screen, and quite frankly, I haven't looked to update from the screen. But today, we're going to update it from this web interface. So I just typed in 192.168.1.58, which is what the dynamic IP that it pulled from my network here. And you can see over on the far right, there's a orange star next to this upgrade button and if we click on that it says that upgrade is scheduled for Wednesday April 16th so now you know when I'm actually that's tomorrow but still now you know when I'm recording this video tomorrow at four o'clock in the morning okay and device firmware is v26 stable that's what it wants that's the available upgrades so we're at v12 as I just showed you and uh, we're going to upgrade it. So I'm just going to click on Upgrade Now. Please connect mic to a power supply. I can do that. It is a USB-C connector on the bottom of this thing. So I'm going to connect it and uh, click on Upgrade. Okay, there we go. So now it's, a, now it's upgrading. And again, it will do this by itself if you just leave it powered on and, and running. So I don't know if it does the automatic update by itself if it's not connected to a power supply. It doesn't want to download and install an update on a low battery and then have the device die in the middle of an update because you can brick a device pretty easily that way. So this makes sense that it wants to be connected to a power supply. But I haven't actually done, I'm pretty sure it's done an, an update or two since I bought this device. I did buy this device directly from Shark RF. That's the only place you can get it. I always get the question, is there somewhere in the USA that sells these? No, there's not. 
but you can buy them directly from sharkrf.com in Estonia without any tariffs or fees, and uh, they're pretty fast on shipping too, three or four days. All right, so now we're rebooting, and here is the manual for what the new All-Star Link connector will look like. The easiest way to use the quick setup menu on the device or quick setup page on the web interface. The following voice codecs are supported. GSM, I, I don't, I'm not familiar with, with any of that. If this connector is active, a menu called IAX, IAX2 slash All-Star Link will appear in the display's main menu. You can access it by long pressing the down button on the main screen. Okay, cool. Right there, all star link, all star link token. A token. So this is going to be this is going to be what we're going to have to add to my server. A token is required to connect all star, to an all star link server. This can be acquired from your all star link account. You need to sign up at allstarlink.org. If you don't see a green check mark next to the token, then the token is invalid. You can request one by clicking on requ uh, on the request button and entering your all star link.org account call sign and password. Okay. Okay, so you need a token. So I guess it uh, you, you choose All Star Link here. So let's just go back over. This is the web interface. So it's rebooted already. Okay, we're going to go to connectors and see what uh, what else is on there. I'm missing. No, there it is right there. Okay, it's under the header of IAX2. So IAX2, and this is the screen com that comes up. All Star Link or IAX2. I'm not sure what IAX2 is. Maybe somebody who's more familiar with Ulster than me. So, uh, request token, server, server address, and port. Okay. Enter your allstarlink.org password. Okay. Now we have the token. Server, server address. And I've got all this stuff for a... Oh, okay, there it is. Took a minute to come up. So, you've got all these servers in here. Let's see if I'm even in here. KC5, HWB Grapevine. Look at that. That's after getting a token. Okay, so that is the, yeah, that's the IP address to my All-Star server. And we're going to go save. I'm going to switch to selected. Node ID. Okay, so you know the node is right. 43136 is my hub. This is my hub. This is my All-Star hub. It said Mike connected to All Star Link four three one three six. Now what I want to do is I want to go over to this page. If you've watched any of my live streams about All Star, you'll know that hamradio two dot com forward slash All Star is my and, and and this is this is my Supermon page and it's open to it's open to anyone. It's open to anyone at all. So now it's connect. Okay, so there I am right there. And it's connected. It says it's connected via Echo Link, and it's got my node is KC5 HWB. Okay, cool. So it's making an Echo Link connection, which is totally cool. We're gonna see how it sounds here in just a minute. It's making an Echo Link connection to my All Star. So I, now I've got this guy, who I can use to connect to DMR on multiple networks, D Star, Yezu System Fusion, and now it'll connect to my All Star system. How cool is that? All right, now I'm going to ping Freddie Mac and see if he's around to see uh, so that some... Well, let's just see if anyone's on All-Star. <laughs> okay. Uh, KC5 HWB on All-Star. KC5 HWB testing a new connection. Looking for anybody out there who's listening. KC5 HWB All-Star. All right, let's see if anybody's actually listening. I heard the... Oh, there it is. Okay. I heard what sounded like a courtesy tone. There we go. There's Bill. KC5 HWB Kilo Zero Whiskey Hotel Whiskey. <laughs> okay, Bill. Thank you, buddy. Bill, uh, good morning. K0 Whiskey Hotel Whiskey, KC5 HWB. I am connected to my all-star system from my open spot mic, uh, Shark RF mic. They just did a firmware update. And this is a DMR D Star F uh, Fusion hotspot, and they added All Star Link to it. And it looks like they're using an Echo Link connection to get into the system. So I'm actually recording a video, man. You're on video right now. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Bill's a good dude. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I tried to do my best mic, but I couldn't. Uh, it sounded good, man. It sounded really good on this side. I wish I was recording it for you here. Uh, all quiet. Uh, or signal. Okay, good deal. I was wondering if it would sound as good because, like I said, it's using an Echo Link connection rather than connecting via 
you know, directly to the system like DV switch or something, but, uh, but good deal, man. I appreciate the info. Um, just doing a, just going to wrap up this video here and, uh, monitor for a bit. So there you go. It is, I'm going to show you what, uh, this is an overhead of it right here. So that's what the screen looks like right there. Why are you focused on my hand? That's what the screen looks like right there. And we can go to call log. So if we long press this button here, it shows us where we're connected. If we long press the button here, the top, the middle second from the top button, it shows we're connected to ASL All Star Link, and 43136 is my hub, and that's where we're connected to. So you guys that have Echo Link, you're probably going to connect something, you know, via your Echo Link app on your phone. And it's going to show something similar to that. But that is the mic hotspot connected to All Star Link, which is analog voice. Now, a lot of times I make these videos and I'll talk about DMR or System Fusion or I'll talk about these open spots. They'll be like, oh, well, how do you connect it to All Star? Because that's digital also. No, All Star is not, even though it's technically digital bits and bytes going over the internet from one end to the other, All Star is analog voice. Echo Link is analog voice, where DMR, D Star, System Fusion, all those are digital voice. So it's all about the voice connection that comes out on the other other end. Plus, with an All Star node, not not with this necessarily, but with an All Star node that I run in my truck that I have here at the house, or with an All Star repeater, you can use any old analog radio to connect to All Star uh, via you know from those from a node or repeater. Okay, so it doesn't require like a DMR. If you have a DMR repeater near you, typically you need a DMR radio to connect to it. Same thing with the System Fusion repeater, D-Star repeater. These are all digital voice modes, and you need a radio to connect to those nodes and or repeaters. With All-Star, it's just all analog voice. So you can use any analog. There's nothing special. Use an $18 Baofeng UV5R to connect to an All-Star node or, an All -Star, or a repeater with All-Star enabled, and talk across the internet over the world to, to all kinds of people. So if you're not on All-Star, check us out. Uh, join our All-Star network, 43136. I've been off of it for a little bit because my the node in my truck died, but I just recorded a brand new video with Freddie Mac, Ham Radio Crusader, building a brand new portable All-Star node that's going in the truck. And now I have this. Now I have this. So I can be on All-Star all the time now whether I'm in my truck or not, so or whether I'm in the shack or not, I should say. So put a, uh, I'll put links to all this in the description below. You guys go check out sharkrf.com. Um, they, they did not sponsor this video. They did not send me this, this device. I bought this when it was new because I knew it was going to be popular, and I knew it was going to be solid. These are some of my favorite hotspots out there. 73 guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and uh, I hope to see you on All Star.